Hi there, welcome to video number nine. Still working on the elevator. Should have this pretty much finished up by the end of the video. Besides a couple little things like the wiring harness that goes in for the trim tab actuator. So I'm just getting everything set up, kind of getting organized. This is a kind of a long project here today. And I just wanted to uh, have a nice workspace so I could address my work without any delays and searching for everything. So I'm getting everything ready. I'm gonna clean the inside of the skins where the trailing edge goes. And right now I'm just doing the bottom and wiping that down with denatured alcohol. So I can, uh, when I peel and stick the bottom half of the double-sided tape that's on the trailing edge, uh, it will stick well. That's already been slightly scuffed. Uh, the tape has been applied to the trailing edge. It's been on for a few days to, to cure. And on the left elevator there, I'm just getting it put in and uh, peeled off. Now for today, I'm just attaching it to the bottom skin so the trailing edge will still remain accessible so I can do some more work. And you can see here, I'm getting it placed in that first hole with a Clico. Uh, and that just kind of locates it. I peel a little bit of the bottom edge of the tape away to expose it, put the first Clico in and give myself a little room. Now it's gonna start to stick, so it takes a while for it to hold permanently. So I have a little time here. So I put the first one in, I peel it back some, and then I'll grab another Clico. I'll put one on the opposite end so it's lined up. Well, I guess I do that later. Uh, and I'll put one in the second hole just for, uh, just for good measure. Now I put this one kind of about halfway down and once I get that Clico in, I'll grab the strip of the backing and pull it all the way down until it breaks against that Clico. Now here in a minute, I didn't film the day my wife was helping me apply the Pro Seal to the PVC ribs that go inside that cavity just forward of the trailing edge. But I do have a, a, a cell phone video that I can show you and it's got a little voiceover kind of explain what we did. Here I am removing the remaining BHB 3M tape and go ahead and put in the rest of the Clicos. So remember, this is just the bottom. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that's gonna adhere well and we're gonna let that cure for a while. And uh, like I said, you'll see some pictures at the end how it all looks while it's setting up to cure once I finish Clicoing and then I come back and put those PVC ribs in with ProSeal later on. Making sure it's nice and flat. There was a slight twist, so I clamped the elevator horn down and put a nice heavy uh, piece of granite weight on it. And I just, you'll see me using a hammer. I just tapped in a couple little finishing nails just so that uh, wouldn't slide off, just rest against the, the little nails. I'm attaching some little squeeze clamps, those Clico clamps uh, on each end where the trailing edge has been tapered to meet the fiberglass wing uh, elevator tips that go on. So we put a slight taper on there and then I just put the little additional clamp so it holds with a double-sided tape uh, to follow that shape. Now I'll do the same for the elevator trim tab. 
I love working on the elevator trim tab. It's just basically everything except miniaturized. And really the only thing in there in the side of the cavity for support are those uh, PVC ribs, which you can see lined up on the on the shelf on the right behind that folded piece of paper. Just got those, had to sand all those down to shape and cut them on the bandsaw first and then put a piece of sandpaper on a, a nice flat surface and just worked them through the line, kept the shape. It was actually a nice project. Here I am just using the Clico pliers backwards, just kind of using them as some clamping force to make sure that tape is adhered. So I've just finished putting in the foam trailing edge ribs with the Pro Seal. Got them all Clico down, got them on a flat table. It's clamped well, and now I'm going to let them sit and cure for a few days. Come back, remove the Clicos, make sure everything's nice and true, and then finish up the riveting. And that will basically finish the elevators and the elevator trim tab. The only thing I have left is to install the trim motor. It goes in here, and I can call that done. So this was definitely the most complex build of the empanage kit so far, but I'm happy to have made a lot of progress and be at a point where I'm almost finished. There's a shot of the inside of the trailing edge of the elevators. The foam is in there with the nice thick coating of Pro Seal. Looks like a bit of chocolate cake was left in there. And that's just everything all clicoed up once I got in everything in. Once that sits, then I'll get it ready to rivet. Now, after I put in those ribs, I did pull off the, the upper half of that uh, VHB tape to finish the seal to close out the, um, the trim tab. And, well, excuse me, the trim tab and the the rest of the elevators on the, on the trailing edge side. Here I'm just kind of getting ready for, for riveting. I've got my four millimeter shims under the body of the elevator. I've got my uh, back riveting surface. And I've also clamped a board in place so the elevator doesn't slide backwards as I'm riveting. And I've marked on the backer plate with a piece of tape how far I, it's, so it stays a consistent depth under there. Uh, so it doesn't cause any dents to the skin just inside the leading edge there. And I'm just doing a double flush rivet. Uh, the shop head is there on top and the manufactured side is the other way around. Well, there you go, a little real-time riveting, just to show you how I do it. Uh, you guys are probably a lot better at riveting than I am, but, uh, you know, that double flush riveting is actually pretty fun and uh, pretty easy to do once you get a little confidence. It's one of my favorite things. So I'm just going to finish that up. Um, I've already done the other side off-camera. So this will be the last part I do here. And the only thing I do after this is just uh, roll those um, forward edges and get those blind riveted. Well, that's about it for this video. I appreciate everyone watching. And uh, I'll keep answering the questions you guys have in the comments for me. And uh, 
We'll see you again next time. Thanks.